Hi Carolyn, Absolute Care Health Clinic, we're just back uh, doing a bit more work with our hair health check. We just came across something interesting that we normally check is the dermis. So here on the screen, uh, we're not only looking at what we call the surface of the scalp and how the hair is actually growing out of the scalp. We want to look at what's happening down here. So here we have an oil gland, a muscle, the follicle and the bulb. At the base of the bulb is the blood supply and the blood supply is delivered to each and every individual hair through a network of capillaries. So we went in and had a look to see the network of capillaries and they're not there. So they're not actually visual to see that it's being fed to the scalp. And I see this a lot. If we're really looking close, I can just see little bits of it so we know that it's there, so we know that you're breathing. But we need to stimulate that blood supply to make sure that what is in the blood supply delivers the oxygen and the nutrients to the bowl. So what happens is when you've had hair loss and hair thinning and you're not understanding, you get scared of touching your hair. So this causes what we um, refer to as a uh, behaviour that you, you just, mm -hmm. you know, avoidance behaviour is like, are you going to avoid washing your hair because you think if you touch your hair it's going to fall out. But that's not the case. If the hair's going to fall out, it's from something happening in the body or there's something happening with the structure here. But by avoiding washing and brushing and styling and doing these different things, we're not triggering anything to the blood supply. But on the other hand, you're going to be very careful if you stimulate the blood supply, um, circulation, a lot of people say massage, those things on their own, they will not grow hair. It's more about getting the blood supply to the target site, but putting what is required into the blood supply through the mouth, through the body, and the delivery mechanism. The other thing that we're seeing in here are these tiny, tiny hairs, and they're what we call translucent, meaning they have no colour at all. So they've completely lost all of their structure, and you'd never see them on the surface of the scalp in the epidermis, and you'd never see them with the naked eye. But you go in with this powerful microscope, you can actually see these hairs are actually alive. Right. So we know that they're growing, we know that they have the bulb, they have the follicle, they're still connected to you. So if we do the right things to the cell and feed it through the body, and we're going to trigger it through the top, we can grow them as well. So what we've seen here for you, and this is in the back area, this is not even in the pattern thinning area, that we've counted about 12 hairs per centimetre to be improved over the entire head. Now that's a significant <laughs> amount of hair. So the microscope uncovers all sorts of things, but you have to do it in the, um, the state where you have the diagnosis again, so you're going to do your paperwork and understand what's going on in the body to then see how it's affected the hair. So signing off again, thank you.